Hello there, my name is Tom Murray and I'm going to read out my short story Changes which was recently published in the Scottish Pen magazine, the Renewal edition. So a big thanks to the editors for choosing Changes. It was getting more difficult to change the older Joe got. The first change as a teenager was straightforward and thinking back on it now, he'd hardly noticed it was happening till it happened. It started to become more difficult in his 40s. He'd hardly slept the night of the change, and when he'd woken it had taken a whole day to recover. His 50s change had taken three days to recover. Of course, once the renewed energy had kicked in, he soon forgot the lying on the floor, the whole room spinning, and every muscle stretching anew over his bones. Now in his 60s, the memory came back, and he wondered if it was worthwhile. I mean... What else had he to do in life? What did he need the renewed energy for? He'd almost decided not to change when the familiar restlessness kicked in. Maybe there was still life in him yet. After the restlessness came the familiar shivers and the feeling of his skin shaking loose from his bones. The ache along his shoulders and down his arms and sides. The stooping and the slowing of the walk closely followed. His joints next, beginning as always with his fingers and then of course his toes. His knee and elbow joints though always the worst and this time he wanted to scream with the pain. His face was always the last to begin to ache. His teeth, his jawline and finally the headaches. When the headaches came it was time to sleep. It took him a long time, but eventually as the dawn began to rise, he drifted off to wake suddenly to the sound of church bells announcing nine o'clock. For a moment he thought he'd got off lightly, but then the room began to spin faster and faster. He told himself not to move and go with the room. After an age, the room began to slow, and he took his first look at his new skin. It was bubbling in places, struggling to settle. He forced himself to sit up, turned towards his old skin lying on the bed. All the times he changed, this was the part he never got used to. The old skin had begun to deflate and would soon be as flat as a cardboard cut out. Only then did Joe make the mind shift that had been born anew once again. His new skin itched and ached, but the bubbling seemed less now. With every renewal, it took longer for his new skin to settle on his bones. Never the same fit as his younger skin had been. Struggling to stand, he examined himself in the mirror. Not bad. The skin still aged, of course, but tighter and no longer grey and tired looking. It would see him through whatever time he had left. Not many he knew changed before, beyond their sixties. That was okay. A last shot at life, that's all he wanted. Joe rolled his previous skin up and fitted it in a disposable company envelope. Everything was so organised these days. One phone call and his old self picked up and taken away. It took a week for the skin to properly settle. The occasional bubble here and there, especially if he grew tired. Joe could cope with that though. It was good to have energy again. Things to do what he didn't know. That didn't matter. It was a possibility that mattered. Thank you.